first time an Israeli is racing a Grand Tour in a Tour de Dan Martin of Israel Startup Nation, is he going to give Israel their second Grand Tour victory? Dan Martin wins! Enjoying his day in pink was Alessandro De Marchi of the Israel Startup Nation, who is clearly a popular wearer of it. <laughs> Just getting started. Yalla, matchili. Yalla. So hello everybody, um, very proud and happy uh, to be with you all today um, and introducing uh, our, the new name of our team uh, and our new sponsor who is uh, to my right, uh, to, to the left on TV, um, uh, Jean Belanger and uh, Premier Tech. Um, this is a big um, step in our evolution uh, of our young team founded by my other partner to, to my left, um, Ron Baron. And, uh, and it's, uh, you know, we, we are, we, uh, Premier Tech is an international company operating in 30? Yeah, 30 countries. 30 countries. Um, and I, I, this is real validation for us uh, being able to associate with such a uh, forward-looking, technologically advanced uh, international company such as Premier Tech. So it's, it's a real honor and a privilege to, uh, to bring them on board. And I, I believe it validates uh, a lot of the efforts that we've been putting into uh, to this wonderful team um, and will help us take, uh, take it to the next level uh, and become a more winning team and a more successful team while at the same time continuing to uh, to be more than a cycling team, we uh, we we operate uh, as well uh, a number of uh, social activities, and we have a social mission. Uh, we draw on the ancient Jewish imperative of tikkun olam, which is trying to improve the world. And I want this team to be a model, uh, an exemplary model um, in, in in our sport and in all sport, um, to try to improve things and, and build bridges um, as we carry, as we, as we race around the, the, the globe, we build bridges, make new friendships, and compete in the spirit, the highest spirit of uh, sportsmanship and, uh, and, and openness. And, 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 uh, and, and while we try to succeed uh, in, in winning races and bringing newer, better, higher attention uh, to our beautiful program. I'm going to pass it to, uh, to Jean to, uh, to, to say a few remarks. Jean is an old friend of mine from, uh, from Quebec. And uh, it, it's a pleasure, Jean, to welcome you so, on board. It's a pleasure. Well, uh, hello, everybody. It's a real pleasure to be, to be here with the team at the camp. Uh, you know, for Primatech, cycling has been uh, 
very important for us. It's a real passion, not only for me, but for our company for uh, over 25 years now. And it, it's a real honor and a privilege to be able to join your team. Ron, Sylvan, thank you for welcoming Permatech and, and, and our team around the world uh, to your team and, and to move it to the next level, uh, you know, to make sure that what we're doing is not only you know, um, showcasing everything that what you guys have been standing for for so many years on the roads at races, but also the higher purpose of the team, like you were saying a bit earlier, uh, Sylvan. I think that's uh, that's important to be uh, to be holistic in everything we do. So to make sure that we we make a difference uh, around the world on, on this planet uh, through our actions uh, for a company like Permatech, through our products, uh, through our team members around the world. And, uh, you know, for us uh, to be at the highest level of, of cycling is, is important. Uh, you know, we've been on the world tour for, uh, for five years now, almost six. And to have the opportunity to join your team, what you guys have built is, and I see it, you know, really from the heart, it's really, really an honor. I know our, our team members worldwide are, are really excited. Uh, when we announced it last week, you know, I, I received quite a few emails uh, from, from friends and colleagues saying, wow, you know, Great news, love the New Jersey, love the colors, you know, blue is important for Permatech, and they love the design, so we're, we're really, really excited, and um, everything that we do at Permatech is, is, is long-term, it's for the long run, so, uh, you know, what we've, we've announced together, our partnership is not just for a season or two, it's for the foreseeable futures for the next four years, and, and for me, that's only a start, so really excited, really pumped about what we can, we can do together, and again, you know, thank you very much. And I'm looking forward to uh, to what we can achieve on the roads this season, but also outside of those races, and keep on making a difference and bringing, you know, something that you know adds to the communities where we're involved. So thank you very much. It's a real honor. Really happy to be here. Thank you for the confidence, Jeff, and thank, thank you. you for your friendship. Yeah, and Sylvan worked really hard. <laughs> So this team started from a dream from zero seven years ago, and it's today probably one of the ten best teams in the world, and we're only getting started, as Silvan says, always. And it used to be a bit crazy to start a dream, but you need good partners to develop it. We couldn't get to the Giro d'Italy, the big start. We have an Israeli flag in a few Grand Tours. We are the normal and acceptable participant at Grand Tours. And today, something that was unthinkable seven years ago. Thank you, Silvan, and thank you for the other partners for making it. But we want to continue and develop, and we want to be on the podium of the Tour de France and other races. And uh, we hope that with uh, a great brand like Premier Tech and great people like you, Jean, that love cycling and have a big passion for cycling, and uh, like all the people uh, in front of the camera here, we, you can help us, and we together can take the team to the next level. Um, we have a continental program, a development program, I would argue the best development program we ever had since the beginning. 16 riders, of which 8 are Israeli, I would challenge those 8 Israelis to make a big effort. So we would love to offer your contract by the end of the year, so we could enhance the Israeli uh, membership in, in the LA team, in the World Tour team. We saw Itama winning a Grand Tour race with against Peter Sagan this, this in 2021, that was history, and we want to see more of that. Uh, thank you very much. Okay, we've got a few questions for Silvan, Sean, and Ron. The first one is for Silvan and Sean. Can you explain a little bit about how discussions progressed between the two of you from fall last year until the official announcement last week? So, uh, <laughs> mind if I start? Uh, you can go first. So, you know, I've known John, I've known John for a while. And uh, so when he, uh, he decided to get uh, more heavily involved in, uh, in cycling uh, with the Astana team, we, 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 had, we had kept in touch uh, and had you know, numerous discussions um, uh, about the future, about, you know, and uh, about, about you know, how things might Friendship, evolve. Friendship, cycling, our, our common passion. Right. And, you know, and how things might evolve in the future. And uh, when the opportunity opened up um, and uh, Jean decided to to uh, terminate his uh, partnership at, um, at Astana, 
um, we began to have more serious discussions. And uh, John is a serious person, a very studious, serious person. Uh, and he doesn't just jump into things. So when we had, began those discussions, they took, they took some time. Um, Jean wanted to make sure that, you know, he, he was coming out of a situation. He wanted to make sure that the next move he made would be a permanent one. Uh, as he mentioned earlier, you know, we have a contract for four years, but the intention is for us to continue into the indefinite future. And he wanted to make sure. And um, so I guess he needed to, to gain some comfort in knowing that this was going to be the right move, even though he knew me, he knew uh, that we, we, we share some common uh, Canadian and Quebec roots together. Um, so he, uh, so those discussions took place. Uh, he had an opportunity to be with us and sort of see how the team operates, meet the key uh, people in the team. It's not just about me, uh, but you know we have a whole beautiful management structure, very professional and, and, and very, how shall I put it, with excellent communication in the team. And Jean needed to feel comfortable with that. So um, I'll, I'll turn it over to him to, 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 to so he can explain sort of what the, the elements that, that he found attractive. Uh, but it took some time, and, and eventually, look, uh, we were moving in the right direction. There's no question about that. Um, and uh, Jacques came to our um, bonding camp in, in, in November in Israel. And uh, I guess that, that he got to meet really much of the team, not only the management structure, but the riders and the staff. Uh, so that, that also helped. And at some point, we, we, we shook hands, uh, I guess, at the end of that camp. Uh, and then we needed to, you know, finish the formalities, and here we are. Well, you know, I think you captured pretty much the essence of, of what uh, is bringing us here today, but like you said, you know, for Permatech, it's not just about showcasing our brand, it's about our passion for cycling, how cycling is fully aligned with our, our values and culture as a company, and unfortunately we had to, to move away from, you know, our previous uh, team, and it's not something we like to do. We're, we're a long-term company. We're going to be celebrating in a year from now our first century. So we were we wanted to make sure we would find the, the right platform, the right foundation, the team that has you know common goals, common passion, purpose that what we have, but also uh, the vibe and the dynamic within the team. So it's one thing to to, to meet and have fun together uh, with Ron, but also the opportunity when I join you guys in, in Tel Aviv and uh, Jerusalem was to, to know more people, to really discover the team from, from the interior, and that was key to us. Uh, obviously also, this team has, has a very solid and profound foundation in Israel, but it's also uh, you know, uh, very solid and, and, and a rock, so, rock solid foundation, I would say, with Canada. Uh, you know, we have five out of the six uh, World Tour Canadian riders. Uh, we have uh, Canadians in, in uh, in the management, Steve that joined with us from uh, from Astana, and, and Hugo as a writer also. So, you know, I think it, it might have taken a bit more time than Sylvan wanted, but, uh, you know, sometimes you have to give times for things to come together, for the layers of, of the relationship and the foundation to come together, and it enable structuring a partnership that will last much longer than, than the term of, of the first initial agreement we have. So, again, you know, uh, this, this partnership which we announced last week, which we're officializing today, uh, you know, was built upon uh, respect, uh, common goals, passion, and friendship. So really, really, like I said a bit earlier, really excited to uh, to be here and joining Israel. And, and one more thing, and riding together. Sure. Because Jean is not only passionate about uh, being in the sport, and the same for Ron and I, uh, we all ride together, and uh, so th this was part of it that we, yeah. we needed to be compatible, <laughs> and I guess we are. <laughs> cool. Thank you. Okay, one last question. This is for Ron. Uh, looking at the team, what impressed you the most last year, and which of your goals for the team do you hope to achieve this year during the season? Thank you for the question. So the team, as I said, every year, the nice thing about this team, we learn from our mistakes, and we went to the next level, we developed. Of course, because of Corona in the last two years, we had time to think more and to write less, and we did it. I think this team, this year, the management, the logistics, the riders, we have definitely the best team we ever had on the LA team and the development program. And we are very excited towards 2022. And uh, 
we would, as I said before, we would love to see one of the young riders from the Continental Sport sign up. And the management and us, everyone would be so happy to see. We have eight Israelis, but we have also many different nationalities, guys that are super talent, and, and they should join the LA team. That would be a great achievement if that happens. We want to see more young riders like Itamar win races and join this great group of top professional riders that uh, we have in this team. And we want to continue to put Israel on the map internationally and on, in cycling, like we did until now, and the sport diplomacy that Silvan Adam thought with the Giro de Italy to continue. This is the best blessing that Israel could think of. Okay, thank you, Sean. Thank you, Silvan. Thank you, Ron. We will take a short break now, and then we'll be back with General Manager Phil Karlsson, Ita Meinhold, and Chris Krupp. So hi again, everybody, also from my part. Um, so I've been with the team already five years, and now this is the 60, sixth year. Um, and uh, I've seen the development from team side, and uh, yeah, uh, it has been a great, great uh, path. Um, now, of course, we are embarking on a, on a third year in the World Tour, and uh, this is something that uh, definitely will be challenging in, in terms of um, of getting more results and, and improving further. Uh, uh, we are quite ambitious uh, uh, and, and in that sense uh, we, we are challenging our riders to, to perform even better and, and uh, get more wins. I mean we, we race for victories and, and uh, this is something that we will uh, continue to do uh, also in 2022. And, uh, and this means both for, for our all, the whole team and uh, we have seen the progress of our Israeli riders, uh, which means that, uh, that we are also going to demand more from, from, from them. Um, uh, Itama uh, had, had a, a great uh, season in 2021, but uh, we believe that all of them can have, uh, have a great season uh, in, in this year. So uh, the, the next step would obviously be to, to be able to compete uh, uh, throughout the season for victories and uh, and get uh, get more points and get more victories. So um, that's uh, in, in in a nutshell what we what we are aiming for. And uh, and let's uh, let's see what uh, 2022 will bring on. Itamar, um, you finished off last season with a huge achievement, taking the first Israeli Pro victory. What do you expect from this season, 2022, and what do you expect from the other really from the other Israeli riders in the team? Uh, so yeah, I uh, I'm really happy to have my first uh, pro win with the team and uh, show that the Israelis can uh, also win. It's not uh, something that uh, over the limits. I think uh, every one of us. Uh, in a level that he can win in some day, I think I have uh, much more to give, and I can I can do it much more uh, next next three years, and I hope so that it will come for all of us. Thank you, and Chris. Um, after your first season with the team last year, how are you looking forward to this season, and how do you see the strength of the team this year? Hey everybody, uh, pleasure to be here. Um, yeah, I think last year the, the team uh, took a noticeable step up and I think, especially with Premier Tech coming on board this year, I think um, things, uh, th there's momentum, there's momentum, there's positive energy 
I really feel as if there's a there's a good buzz in the team. Everyone's come to the training camp uh, keen keen to work hard and uh, with some with some ambitious goals for this year. So um, I'm really looking forward to, to being a part of that and to um, to being part of this part of this journey. See the team keep keep stepping up. And you had recently a minor knee injury. Um, can you talk a little bit about that? How are you feeling now? Yeah, um, I towards uh, in sort of mid December, I, I picked up a bit of an injury getting back into training. Um, I tore my TFL tendon on the on the side of my leg, um, and um, unfortunately, I had to take take a bit of time off. And I'm really happy to be at the training camp now. This was a, a camp I, I didn't make it to last year. Uh, at least having everyone together here, so really happy to be here and to be starting training with the guys. Um, but my preparations have definitely been delayed. Um, I, I think with racing, I'll, I'll probably only start racing a little bit later as well. Um, but yeah, happy to be here, happy to be getting the work in. Um, I'm not feeling any pain at the moment, but I still have to take it pretty steady and uh, start, start a bit more of a, a slower progression. Um, into this first part of the season. Thank you. And for Itamar, there's a question from his really media for Channel 5. So you raced the World Cup last year. Do you see yourself racing in the Tour maybe this or next year? How do you see that? Yes, I was racing the World Cup last year and it was a great experience. I think uh, I learned a lot of it and from it and it also had a good part of uh, me winning the, the race because I really got good legs after that. Uh, the Tour, indeed, it's a goal for me. Uh, I'm, I cannot say if it's going to be this year or next year, but uh, for sure I want to, to race and in the Tour and I want to come in, le in the level that I can also win some stages in the Tour. So I have patience and I, I know I can do it. So, yeah, it will come. Thank you. And the question for Shell from Cycle Magazine Norway. Can you talk a little bit about the strategical approach to the Tour this year, how the team is approaching the race? Well, first of all, uh, we, we, we know that it's going to be a, a, a quite, uh, uh, let's say, uh, technical and, uh, and difficult first part of, of the Tour with uh, potentially high, high winds and uh, and uh, in that sense, difficult uh, parkour. Um, but as as everybody, I think we are really aiming for for stage victories, and uh, and that would be the our our hope in the beginning of, of, of the tour, and then continue from there. See what we can actually go for. Uh, Mike Woods was really, really close uh, last year to be able to to get the pocket of jersey, and of course, may, maybe that could be one of the goals that we are. Uh, setting out to, to achieve, but uh, at the same time, uh, being ambitious and, and trying to go for victories, this is an, our objective in, in 2022, and uh, hopefully we can achieve it. Thank you. One question for Chris for Velo News. A decade ago, when you were on Sky, they really set the tone in cycling. Do you see that the rest of the peloton has caught up with Ineos now? And do you see Israel Premier Tech being at the same level as the other top teams right now? I think, um, yeah, I mean, that, that's definitely f fair to say that a decade ago, um, Team Sky were, uh, I guess, setting the benchmark, if you like. Um, I think um, in previous years, other teams have caught up. And it seems at the moment that there are certainly two or three uh, of, the, of the bigger teams uh, who are on a very similar kind of level, especially when it comes to, to riding the Grand Tours and controlling the Grand Tours in terms of the, the general classification this is. Um, so it, it does seem to be a much more even playing field um, in, in that sense. Um, in terms of Israel Startup Nation, I, I wouldn't say we're one of those teams necessarily uh, setting the benchmark for general classification riding in, in Grand Tours, but that's hopefully uh, something we can keep, keep building on in these next few years and a goal for us to try and reach that level. So um, I, I think we've got a, a great platform now to, to really 
um, strengthen the team over the next few years, which is what, what I'd really like to see. Thank you. And one more for Shell from Channel 5 as well. What are the goals for the teams this year in the Grand Tours, if you can kind of put it down to a few? Well, um, as I already mentioned, we are going for victories, and uh, this means that uh, throughout the different uh, Grand Tours, uh, both in, in Italy, to, uh, the, the, in France and Spain, we would like to go for stage victories. This is our premier uh, goal, and uh, yeah, uh, depending on the situation, we, we all know that it's very difficult to predict uh, how, how the season goes. There could be some additional goals, but uh, mainly it's uh, for stage victories. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Tamar. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Chris. That's it for now. We're going to take another short break and then we will be back with Giacomo Nitsoglu, Jakob Fulsman, and Michael Woods. Thank you. Okay, we are back with Giacomo, Jakob and Mike. Giacomo, first off, this is your second gathering with the team already, after meeting everybody in Israel in November last year. What are your first impressions of the team so far, and can you tell us a little bit about your goals for the next couple of months? Uh, yes, uh, it's the second camp uh, after, after the first one in Israel, and I have to say, I feel already like home with, with uh, everyone. Uh, it was a very warm, warm uh, welcome um, from the team, and uh, there is a great atmosphere. I feel uh, also great attitude of everyone. Um, so I really, I really think to this year we can we can achieve great goals. And from my side, uh, the main goals are to be to be good at the classics first, and then uh, at, at Giro Italia, as uh, Charles said before, uh, try to to get uh, stage victories. Jakob, you're also new on the team um, this year. How do you see your role in the team and what are your goals for this first part of the season? Well, I think um, I think my role in the team is not uh, not much different from, from what it is was what it was in, in Astana is to to bring results. Um, but I think that especially in this team uh, I can also use my experience and to to help the team grow, to help the young guys uh, use my experience uh, uh, and helping them. Uh, I mean, like was said before by, by Ron, uh, they really like to push for the, for the Israeli riders. And, and I mean, you don't learn cycling out of nowhere. It takes a long time. So if you have experienced guys on your side, it, it might come quicker. And I think there I can also be a, be a, be a big value for the for the team and for the goals um, especially I, I would like to start off good I had uh, not the best season last year and I want to prove that uh, that there was a there was a one timer there was a bad season um, and that I still have it in me uh, to win so uh, I will try to go good from the beginning uh, Strade Bianca will probably be one of the first big goals and then uh, this year, I will do also uh, Flanders, uh, which I've been asking for a few years to do, and uh, and then comes all the other uh, other classic races, which obviously is a big goal for me. Thank you, and Mike. Um, with Sean and Premier Tech coming on board, as well as Hugo, um, there's an even bigger Canadian mark on the team this year. How do you feel being part of that, and what do you think this will mean for Canadian cycling? Yeah, no, I feel uh, really fortunate to be on this team. Um, 
last year when I came onto the team, it really did feel like I was coming home already. Uh, having Sylvan Adams and Paul Sadana already a part of the team, uh, bringing me over, uh, those two were the reason are the reason why I'm a pro cyclist today. And uh, when they came, I came over, they'd already created an environment for me to succeed and um, really try and put Canadian cycling on the map. And with Premier Tech now coming on board, um, it really does feel like this is Canada's team. Uh, if you're a Canadian back home uh, watching this team, you have some you have a team to root for. And uh, with Hugo coming on board, I've done the Olympics with Hugo now twice, World Championships with him. He's such a great guy, such a great teammate. Um, he's going to really help bring everyone's level up. And now that we have five Canadian riders uh, in the World Tour on this team, um, I think we're really going to set a, uh, the bar high and uh, lead by example. And um, when you have Canadians having success, when you have people succeeding uh, at the highest level, it inspires others to do well. <clears throat> and right now, I think uh, well, this is the peak of Canadian cycling, but it's it's only going to get better. And uh, I think we're going to uh, hopefully inspire more riders to, to move up the ranks in Canada. And last year, you were part of a very strong duo with Dan Martin, two riders of kind of same qualities. This year, it's you and Jakob. Um, can you explain a bit about the advantages for you and for the team to have two such strong riders able to do the same or do well in doing the same races? And also, you, Jakob, if you can take over afterwards. So, my big goal in cycling um, is to win a monument uh, or a global championship. And I haven't done that yet. I come close, I came second. Uh, Liege, last on Liege, uh, and fifth to this guy when he won. Uh, so I'm really hoping, uh, I really benefited from having Dan last year, um, just learning from him. He's also a guy who's won two monuments, uh, just like Jakob, both Lombardia and Liege, Baston Liege. And I, I particularly when Dan won Liege, Baston Liege, and uh, I forget what year it was, 2015, I believe, or 20, 2014, um, he had another Canadian rider setting him up uh, in Rider Hegedal. And I feel like at the classics, particularly now, if you have a two-pronged approach, uh, it makes a huge difference. And uh, with Jakob, I know I can learn so much more from him. Uh, he's a great rider. Uh, I've always loved watching him race. He, he's, he's already motivated me here. He's put me to the, put him, making me work today. We were, we were riding back from the, the long ride today and he was pushing me pretty hard. <laughs> Uh, so it's it's. Uh, I think he's going to really help me get to a new level as well, and uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to racing. Thank you. Me too. Now I think, uh, especially in the in the classics and let's say in cycling nowadays, it's it's so competitive and there's so many good guys there and and if you have the the possibility to be two guys in a in a final in a in a monument, you have so many more ways to, to play your cards and, 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 and that can make the difference. Um, so I think it's it's really a huge benefit and I'm, I'm convinced that we're gonna, gonna win a monument uh, this year um, with the two of us, one or the other. Um, so yeah, I, I'm, I think it really makes the difference. Just one more from Mike from Canadian Cycling Magazine. Uh, Mike, you recently said on social media that you had COVID. Um, can you talk a little bit about how you're feeling now and how it's been coming back to training after that? Yeah, unfortunately, my uh, my daughter came back from daycare and took the whole Woods family down. Um, we were all pretty, we were all a bit sick, but <clears throat> actually the symptoms were quite mild. Uh, it being Omicron, I think, and also because we were uh, all vaccinated, I think it really uh, didn't hit us too hard. Uh, I only missed a few days of training. Uh, fortunately, we have a good medical staff here, and uh, they are monitoring me every day, uh, making sure that I was making a full recovery. Uh, took the the allotted isolation period and uh, came back, and really didn't feel like I lost too much. Uh, first few days, I wasn't feeling great, but uh, uh, I feel like I'm, I'm I'm coming back into the form that I was in uh, at this time last year. Okay, we're waiting to see if we get any more questions from the journalists watching online now. So just one moment. There's one for Giacomo. 
uh, Giacomo, what will be your main goal this year? And uh, are you looking to do both the Giro and the Tour, or one of them? Uh, what do you expect from the Spring Classics? Yeah, so last year for me was the first time I got the chance to, to race the whole classic season uh, in Belgium. So I got uh, enough experience and I would like this year to, to go back there and, and fight for something big. So that's, uh, that's mainly my goal for the, for the spring classics. And then, uh, as I said, at the Giro I would like to, to win stages and uh, yeah, why not maybe keep, uh, keep an eye on, on, on the point jersey, which is always a, a nice thing to, to win. And uh, yeah, right now we are not planning anything for the Tour, uh, so I, I would like to concentrate on the Giro. We had a question for the three of you, and you can set the sequence. Uh, if we hear in a year time, or at the end of the season, looking back, what would have made 2022 season a successful one for you? Uh, I think for me, it's uh, winning a big race, whether it's uh, a stage of the Tour de France, uh, a monument. Um, I've won at just a tier below, uh, uh, like at the Vuelta, and uh, I've had strong results. But uh, last year, and last year in particular, was the best season of my career. But it was full of near misses, uh, uh, fifth places at, at the biggest races, and I really want to step up and, and have that big win. So for me, it's uh, it's a win at the biggest, at the highest level. Um, yeah, for me personally, it would be to to show uh, to show the good legs, uh, like in nineteen and, and twenty. Um, be up there again in the finals and be able to to at least challenge for the victory, but in general uh, for the team uh, to have even more victories than than this year. Um, cycling is still, still a team sport, and that's one of the things I love about it. So I hope that we as a team can have uh, have more victories. But I'm I'm confident that it's going to happen. Yeah, for me the same. I really. Uh, I really see the team winning many races this year. I would like to be part of the game. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, in my career, the the world has been always the consistency. So this year, I would like to keep the same uh, in terms of uh, results. And if you ask me a dream, I would say Milan Sanremo. Okay, thank you guys. That's it for now. Thank you very much. And thank you for everyone watching. Thank you for the media. Thank you for sending in your questions. That was it for now.